Hello, this is Bill Soto, and welcome to SORCOM University webinars. We'd like to start with Module 2. Uh, module 2 is about our USB-based telephony modules called AstroBank, uh, which are used for the asterisk PBXs. We have a very modular design with the AstroBank. As you can see, they're USB-based telephony modules that are housed in a 1U 19-inch unit. Uh, very flexible and scalable. You can actually uh, mix the modules of, or have all the same modules inside the AstroBank casing. The PRI module is four ports. Even if you purchase a single PRI, and that could be for E1 uh, or uh, T1, uh, we also manage uh, PRI, uh, CAS, or Channel Associated Signaling, as well as uh, R2 signaling with uh, E1, as well as IS, you know, PRI, ISDN. Uh, in order to add more PRI circuits, you would simply add a license key or call up, and we would activate it with the license key. So in the case of a client who wanted to add additional uh, T1s or E1s, if you've ordered one or two, uh, they can uh, now go ahead and upgrade without any hardware change out uh, at the uh, customer site. A couple of more examples uh, showing the, the AstroBanks. Uh, on the bottom there, you also see the uh, I.O. ports. When you have the FXS, or Foreign Exchange Station, uh, for regular uh, standard analog uh, extensions, uh, analog telephones, uh, and it's, uh, the, it's the first port on the left, you could also have an I.O. port. These are like um, normally open or normally closed relays. We'll be going over those in just a minute. You could also mix the FXO, or a Foreign Exchange Office Lines, and these are standard analog uh, PSTN terminations, or public switch telephone network, standard analog telephone lines. So the AstroBank can connect uh, to the uh, SORCOM XR series of servers. They can also connect to pretty much anybody's server. So whether it be Dell or HP or Supermicro, whatever the case may be. This is simply a telephony interface for Asterisk. So we are direct USB connection to your Asterisk server. We are not PCI or PCIe based, nor are we a gateway that sits on the LAN. I'm more on that in just a moment. Uh, USB, being the technology that it is, will auto-detect uh, the firmware, will auto-detect the drivers. So the drivers for Zaptel and Dottie are already loaded in Asterisk. Uh, they've been there since Asterisk 1.2. And so we also have peripheral device support for those I.O. ports we just spoke about, which can be used to open and close a gate or, or ring a bell, if you will. Uh, also, they're twin star ready. Uh, each AstroBank in the back has two USB connections, a main and a backup. And this is for SORCOM's patented twin star hot failover software. As you may or may not know, SORCOM is the only PBX manufacturer that has a commercially supported hot failover solution for asterisk. With digital ports, uh, we can look at this AstroBank. You have it for FXO. You can have four E1s or T1s, or four E1s with R2s. Uh, these are the same ports. We're just uh, detailing out the different type of protocols we can manage. We can also have BRI ports, or basic rate interface ports. We see a lot of this, especially in the UK applications. Now, AstroBank really is a direct replacement for PCI cards. So rather than purchasing Sangoma, Digium, or Rhino PCI or PCIe cards, you can use AstroBanks in their place. You'll find them to be, uh, from our perspective, easier to install uh, as well as to manage. 32 FXS ports uh, is the maximum capacity on one new unit. It is the highest density uh, unit for analog on the market. There is no other company, to, to the best of my knowledge, that can actually manage 32 FXS ports uh, in a 1U chassis. Now this does lend itself for high analog applications, such as hotels uh, or convention centers, hospitals, anywhere where there's a lot of Cat3 cable and analog phones, and recabling is just not in the cards. If you'd like to keep those analog phones, you can go ahead and continue using that with our uh, FXS AstroBanks. Now, this would be a direct replacement for 
uh, Grandstein gateways or uh, Adtran analog gateways or Rhino channel banks. And remember, we're not LAN-based, so you don't have the complexity associated with local area networks. Now, you can connect multiple Aster banks to your server. Uh, there really is no limit. It's more of a server limitation. There's no li really limit on the Aster banks. Uh, we are uh, now uh, do have available in full production a 16-port USB hub with redundant power supplies. When you have a lot of Aster banks uh, to connect for a large analog implementation, uh, this would come in very handy because you now have redundant power supplies for all those Aster banks and a very nice and technically uh, advanced way of connecting all of them. So rather than having a separate power supply for each Aster bank and multiple USB hubs, you can have one USB hub for 16 Aster banks. Makes for a very clean uh, and, again, technically advanced implementation. So we are a new standard for Aster's connectivity. You don't have to worry about the complexities or IRQ problems that you have with PC boards. Uh, you don't have to worry if you know, you've just ordered a single port uh, T1 card and your customer just asks you for a, a second port. Well, with us, not a concern. If you ordered a single port T1 card that's PC-based, now you have to change it out or order another one. Uh, what, again, we're not local area network based, so we don't have the issues associated with IP addressing and things of that nature with the Astro Bank. We are direct connect to the server. And we, the XPP, or SORCOM Peripheral Protocol, is the USB technology protocol that allows us to do this. Now, many people don't realize it, but there's actually 480 megabits of bandwidth over a USB 2.0 cable. Theoretically, we can actually handle 2,400 simultaneous calls at G.711 codec on a single USB cable. Now, you would never do that because you would blow out your server, but it does answer the question, is a USB 2.0 a good medium for passing voice calls? And the answer is absolutely yes. Now, we also have full support for faxes and modems. I encourage you to go, out, go to our website. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll just uh, click there very quickly. But we have um, a protocol called PLL, or Phase Lock Loop. And we do a very nice job of synchronizing the uh, device clock used in asterisk from the PRI to the FXS endpoint. So it makes it very simple to be able to uh, provide that type of connectivity, but it provides or, or lends itself to a very um, st stable and uh, an excellent connection for your faxes and your modems. Uh, reliable is the word I'm looking for. Reliable connection for faxes and modems supported with PRI or analog phones going to your FXS connections. Uh, modular and scalable, obviously with the USB, you can mix and match uh, the ports inside the Astro Bank. We are hot pluggable so in ter and also field upgradable. So again, when you're looking at these Astro Banks out in the field, they do lend themselves to a lower cost of ownership moving forward. And don't forget that you can upgrade additional PRIs simply by adding a license key. So each PRI uh, module is actually four ports, but you can order it with a single port and then upgrade with a license key. Well, that finishes our overview on Module 2, the Astro Banks. Hopefully you have found this helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at SORCOM.com uh, or give us a call at 866-967-2661 and press 1 for sales. Thank you for your time.